Hello and welcome back to my channel. Um, so I thought of doing a video today uh, about Lightroom. I keep hearing from people that, um, that their Lightroom is very slow and um, they they always find it quite quite tiresome uh, experience while editing photos. So I just thought I, sh I, I will show you a glimpse of how my Lightroom is optimized. Uh, and it runs quite smooth and quite fast. So, so here, here's where you, where you need to go. So you need to go, uh, you need to click here on Lightroom Classic. You need to go to Preference. Once you go here, you, you choose Performance, and then uh, tick this box off or s select off. Use Graphics Processor, and then tick Use Smart Previews instead of Origins for image editing. So on. On the by default, this is usually ticked off, but you tick it on, and uh, that that's about it from here. And then you you import your files. So I shot some photos today, and they are here in my SD card. So these are the photos that are selected. I've checked all, and I want to copy them to my external hard drive, which is this here lifestyle and this is the folder that i want the photos to be in and i don't want it to be in in in, in a subfolder so i selected this folder for the files to be copied here so here's here's the interesting thing so so here uh with build previews you can choose standard and here where it says build smart previews you basically take this on usually it's it, it's usually like this you select it and of course you don't want to import suspected duplicates i'm not i don't want second copies and that's that's about it so then i will give import so what lightroom will do right now first is it will copy my photos from my sd card to my external hard disk and it will also so if you go here you're gonna see it's, it's copying and importing photos and the second thing is it's, it is building standard preview so standard previews is, is, is the preview that you see on Lightroom but I've also ticked uh, building smart previews and so so now you can see the, my computer is building the smart previews this is going to take a bit longer than building standard previews but uh, I will um, tell you a bit more about smart previews. So, so once this is done, see, see, it's 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 quite fast, and so my computer has already made thirty-seven uh, smart previews for these thirty-seven files, and now, interestingly, so when, when you when you when you pick one of these photographs, you'll see it says original plus smart preview. So. Uh, the original is there, but it, the the smart preview is also there. Uh, what you can do now is you can actually go ahead and go ahead and eject your external hard drive. And what that does is, so the external hard drive is not connected anymore, uh, but you still have your when you when you select, you you still see there is a smart preview. And the best thing about this is you can still go on and process this file without having your external hard disk attached to your um, um, computer so now you can edit your files without um, without having your com computer attached to the the hard disk and um, so 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 your computer basically made made a smart preview and when you press next it's just loading a smart preview which is a very small file it's uh, it's it's maybe one or two megabytes uh, per photograph it's a small render of your raw file so you get uh, all the freedom you want to edit and once you're done editing you can even the best thing is you can even export your files from smart preview like I can actually go and export my files and uh, the exported file will be somewhere around three to four MB. Will uh, be around 200 uh, pixels. Will be a bit lower than 200 pixels. Uh, but that that that's quite all right. Uh, whenever you're you're done editing your files, you can just connect your hard disk back, and then 
export the files in full full res and that way your Lightroom is very very fast and just just have a look here I'm just going through all the photographs and it's not taking even a second to to render the files so I completely forgot about this uh, so if, if you forget to make your smart preview while importing the files there is another way to import your there is another way to make smart previews so you just select all the files here and then go to library and then you see previews here and then you can create build smart previews and once you click there it's just just since it was already already made it was very fast but if it, it was not made earlier it's it's going to make you smart previews later in the day so when I import a lot of files when I import like say 500 or 600 files and I want to make smart if I have time I, I will make smart previews right then I will probably import the files and then go do other things in the house or do ha my breakfast uh, while smart previews are being made or if I don't have time like right then I just import the files that then and then whenever I have time I make smart previews um, yeah just just thought um, I, I completely missed that uh, during so yeah so that that's how I edit my files and uh, I, I hope this was very helpful for you guys um, I'll try to make a few more small tutorials and tips like this before I actually do uh, a full-on uh, video on how I post process my files uh, in, in color uh, so thank you for watching and um, subscribe and uh, do let me know what you want to see next.